tonight at 1030 on a popular park left in ruins. The turf and fields at Quaker Pin Park in Falls Township, Bucks County need to be completely redone as you can see here. Yeah, drone six capturing all that was left behind. Officers say the damage happened late at night on the April 24th. The suspects were captured on camera. Action News reporter Brianna Smith found out that this is not the first time the fields were damaged. She's live for us there in Falls Township outside the police department with what we're learning about this situation, Brianna. That's right, Gray and Shari. Police say this is the second time drivers vandalized the field in about three months. And now Falls Township police are searching for at least five people who were involved in this latest incident who left behind thousands of dollars in damage. Falls Township police are searching for the suspects who left their mark at Quaker Pen Park. Surveillance video shows two vehicles enter the park around 10:45 p.m. on April 24th, drive across the field several times and do donuts on the grass while another person took photos. Driving a high rate of speed. Uh, they tore up a bunch of the grass, drove around to other parts of the park to cause damage. Officer Daniel Mikowski says the destruction will cost thousands of dollars. It causes a disturbance in the community. Obviously, people come here to bring their kids. Uh, it caused damage that cost the citizens taxpayer dollars at the end of the day. Mikowski says at least five people were in these two Audis, ranging in age from late teens to early 20s. One vehicle has a purple sticker that says Barney on the windshield. We enjoy coming here. Hearing about like the donuts and everything, like I was pretty surprised that, you know, somebody would, you know, do that. It's just senseless, really. It really is senseless. And this isn't the first time a driver destroyed the area. Back in January, Mikowski says the owner of this Dodge pickup was charged and fined $4,800. Now families have some concerns about the future of the park. They leave this park open to the public, even if you don't have a membership. So doing that is kind of, it's just going to, you know, make more rules and everything. So it's kind of upsetting. And everybody suffers. The next thing you know, they'll put a gate up there. Visitors say the reckless driving is also extremely dangerous and not worth the seconds of fun. It's going to be one of those Joke's gone bad, you know, like they're going to they're gonna be face, facing some penalties and fines and it's going to be something they're going to regret. Yeah, police say if the damage is over $5,000, those responsible could face a felony charge. Now, if you have any information about this incident, contact police. Live in Fairless Hills, Brianna Smith for Action News at 10 on PHL 17. Shari? Okay, Brianna, thank you. An update now on the murder case involving Pocono's native Brian Koberger, the former...